Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Rehabilitation Science Group. Rehabilitation Science Group, uh, within a short span of time, has come uh, with the, along with the 25 national and the international lectures. And we are planning a lot of more lectures uh, with the, from national and international speakers. Uh, so I would like to tell our subscribers to kindly subscribe the channel so that you can get notification about the speakers and about the different lectures we are going to, uh, we are coming up. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dharam, and thank you, Dr. Yogesh, for coming here. Today's uh, our speaker is Dr. Yogesh. I would request Dr. Dharam to introduce Dr. Yogesh. Yes, sir. Uh... Thank you, Sagun, sir. And uh, uh, now uh, we are again here on Rehabilitation Sciences Group with uh, uh, another very eminent faculty, uh, Dr. Yogesh Kumar Madhyan. Uh, Dr. Yogesh Kumar Madhyan, uh, sir, will, going, will be presenting on uh, solder in a very, very simplified manner on based on Jeremy Lewis' concept. And he's an authorized tutor there in um, Prosper uh, Overseas Limited. Uh, Dr. Yogesh, if you talk about Dr. Yogesh, he's a very senior faculty in the uh, field of physiotherapy. He's completed his uh, uh, basic physiotherapy course qualification in 1998. You can imagine that since then he is in practice. Uh, he joined Awald Hospital and Heart Center in as a head of department in Lucknow. And then he uh, established an state of the art physiotherapy center there uh, at that hospital with a team of twin, more than 25 physiotherapists at that center and working uh, over there in um, with the export training. And he's a very, very keen interest in academics and training people. And he expertise uh, is in an orthopedic and critical care. Uh, he has organized several uh, workshops and conferences during his career. Uh, he is a certified manual therapist in Mulligan, Matland, and many more uh, uh, courses he has uh, done. Uh, he has also uh, studied in Russia and uh, as an Indian woman hockey team uh, physio in 2008. And... Uh, uh, he has this now presently he is associated with Apollo Medics Hospital as a head of department uh, of physiotherapy in Lucknow. He is also a accredited teacher for um, Jamie Lewis concept. So uh, join hand with me to welcome Dr. Yogesh with us. Uh, he has a spare time uh, with his busy schedule. And uh, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Yogesh, for joining us today. And uh, we are really, uh, uh, it is an honor to have you on this platform. So it is over to you. You can just uh, enlighten us with your uh, knowledge. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Dharam, Dr. Shagun, Dr. Harpreet. And uh, in fact, honor is mine because um, you have given me the opportunity to share whatever little knowledge I possess with my viewers. Very good evening to viewers. So uh, let me share my screen. I think it's visible now. Yes, we can see. We can go ahead. As the name suggests, shoulder simplified. Uh, we all know by now. We all know because the previous uh, sessions in this same uh, rehabilitation science group were uh, quite enlightening, and now we are all know that it is not shoulder. It is actually shoulder complex, which is supposed to be treated by a physiotherapist. As the name suggests, shoulder complex, does that mean shoulder is quite complicated? The complex is quite complicated. And through Jeremy Lewis concept, I have tried to make it simple. That is why it is shoulder simplified. Uh, let me start. Uh, I think it's not sharing. We are able to see your screen, sir. No. Uh, but you uh, can just move forward your screen further. You can advance or you can close it and again start. Yeah, I think uh, I have to start it again. Stop sharing. No. I 
again do it you have to click the I, 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 most right corner and then share okay uh, this is the you know screen i'm simply sharing the screen now i think i should go to my um beginning beginning and first uh, on the top left corner uh, screen you have to share yes this is the screen yeah. so my journey begins uh, during mid 90s and um, uh, me and my friends are uh, usually say that that was a uh, dinosaur era कॉमन मैन दैटिस्ट then came the electrotherapy era somewhere in 2098 uh that era lot of gadgets lot of machine in fact and when i was in third year of my college then only i could see the pens machine very first the cryos wave therapy short waves and ultrasonic ifts and now it is laser therapy so it's the era of electrotherapy but we all know that they have very limited effect on our rehabilitation program and in fact it is very small part i should not say that it is obsolete but it plays a very small uh, role in our treatment plan then came the rock star era somewhere in 2000 2005 uh, people were running around like maitland techniques and maligan techniques met of course they all are wonderful but uh, things were like that ki मेरे को तो मेटलैंड मलिकन ही सीखना है तभी कुछ आगे होगा इन फैक्ट द ट्रूथ इज द ओनली एवर ग्रीन थेरेपी इज एक्सरसाइज थेरेपी ये था है और रहेगा इसका भी कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है और जरूरत भी नहीं है बिकॉज दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन स्पेशली फॉर शोल्डर कंडीशन यू कैन ऑफर टू योर पेशेंट वाई आई एम सींग इट इज द फर्स्ट बेस्ट ट्रीटमेंट बिकॉज इट इज बेटर देन मेडिसिन एंड सर्जरी स्पेशली इन नॉन ट्रोमेटिक कंडीशन so we have to stick on exercise therapy basics uh, a very fast uh, you know review of the anatomy as you all know it is shoulder complex it is not only glenohumeral joint it is acromaclavicular sternoclavicular scapulothoracic lot of muscles around the shoulders for stability lot of ligaments are there there are some vulnerable spots like this subacromial space where a lot of impingement happens so these things we all know that is why i am going a little bit fast just to come on the point here comes the point that is rotator cable now see what happens in uh, our rotator cuff suppose supraspinatus is injured or a tear non traumatic kind of tear is there because of this rotator cable other muscles can help it rotator cuff is a social tendon it is not an alone tendon like कोई भी मसल उसका हेल्प नहीं कर पाता है बट शोल्डर इज ए सोशल टेंडन देर आर सो मेनी स्ट्रक्चर टू हेल्प अटस और से सिंगल मसल academics are very important i always insist this is for my budding physiotherapist that please 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 do not ever forget your basic academics and moreover uh, with due respect to dr bd chorasia sir bahut hi acha kitab hai unka anatomy ka usme koi to hai nahi but somehow i feel that is for surgeons not for physiotherapist because surgeon is supposed to see cut go through a region like like shoulder is a, a shoulder is a region for it anterior part lateral part or posterior part while we physiotherapist are more about kinesiology kya hota hai bidi chorasia mein ki latissimus dorsi ko uthaiye to volume 3 mein milta hai jaake jab you deltoid ko dekhiye to wo volume 1 ya 2 mein hi mil jata hai kyunki wo neck aur shoulder ka volume hai 
बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है मसल्स को समझना दैट इज वाई ऑलवेज इंसिस्ट की मसल्स को जब भी आप पढ़े तो इस तरह के ग्रुप में पढ़े लाइक स्कैपल ह्यूमरल ग्रुप वो मसल्स जो स्कैपला से ह्यूमरस में जाएंगे दे विल ऑलरेडी ह्यूमरल मूवर जबकि जो मसल्स एक्सिस से स्पाइन से रिप से आपके स्कैपला में जाएंगे दे आर ओनली स्कैपलर मूवर सो दिस काइंड ऑफ कंफ्यूजन शुड नॉट बी देयर वैल यू एस एस और ट्रीट योर पेशेंट वॉट हैपन्स वेन एवर आई आस अ स्टूडेंट की चल पेक्टोरियल माइनर का एक्शन समझते हैं तो उसको तो लगता है पेक्टोरियल मेजर और माइनर सीता और गीता बट नाउ गीता इज मैरिड स्कैपलर मसल पेक्टोरियल माइनर स्कैपला को मूव करती है जबकि मेजर ह्यूमरस को मूव कर रहा है तो दीज स्मॉल थिंग्स विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन योर क्लिनिकल यू नो सिनेरियो रियल सिनेरियो वेन इट कम्स टू ट्रीट अ पेशेंट दैट यू शुड नो वॉट मसल्स मूव वॉट बोन इन वॉट डायरेक्शन इन वॉट ओरियंटेशन दे आर इंसल्टिंग so let me uh, put my story in uh, uh, in, a, in a very simple way so that we can have the real taste of clinic uh, your clinical practice so there are three physiotherapists as you can easily appreciate in screen uh, dr shalind dr nancy and dr akli dr shalind is in charge in a nursing home a private hospital dr nancy is running her own clinic and dr akli is associated with a corporate hospital multi specialty Hospital. and they are having a patient like shalendra is having a patient mr amar mishra age 45 years male pain right shoulder in ability to raise arm overhead nocturnal pain was there onset was just one month no history of diabetes hypertension or trauma at the same time nancy at her respective clinic receives a patient vein same age 42 pain right shoulder in ability to raise omg it is more or less same in fact it is same the symptoms are same and a claim also receives a patient named rahul verma with the same symptoms actually it happens patient come with pain and stiffness only it's you it's your clinical skill which is going to differentiate what kind of treatment is should be chosen in some particular patient it should be tailor made it should be should not be like that a, a, a single protocol can be there so you have to find out with your clinical skills how to treat a single patient the clinical skills which i always believe the physiotherapeutic way assessment should be physiotherapeutic because treatment is physiotherapeutic and physiotherapeutic way is just see three things active range of movement passive range of movement isometric contraction and the vertical compression of the joint these four things you know they are real friends they can give you a real picture of what is happening with your patient like effective rom is painful it may be impingement injury if passive rom is painful it may be the capsular pattern or bursitis if isometric is some muscle or soft tissue is involved if body weight or compression or churning of joint articular surface is producing pain it may be bony articular slap or maybe bursitis if it is loose hypermobile and um, painful also maybe it is a case of in instability and maybe it is not a shoulder maybe it is because of cervical origin so your approach your examination tells you about your patient and what to treat and we can go through the test in fact i am not going through that test in fact i just want to convey that all the test there are only 208 test in shoulder and all the test depends on those physiotherapeutic skills only you can have so many names like painful arc movement then yergesen sign hawkins kennedy test but once you look very carefully in any of these tests they are using either active movement passive movement isometric movement or vertical compression and they are giving you the diagnosis हम लोग धर्म सर लखनऊ में टेस्ट के लिए तो यही कहते हैं अपनी भाषा में कि ये टेस्ट बहुत बेवफा होते हैं क्योंकि फॉल्स पॉजिटिविटी और फॉल्स नेगेटिव होने के चांसेस बहुत होते हैं तो इसलिए मैं हमेशा इंसिस्ट करता हूँ गो टू द सीरियक्स थिंग विच इज फिजियोथेरापेटिक वे दैट इज एक्टिव पैसिव आइसोमेट्रिक एंड कंप्रेशन वे ऑफ नोइंग दिशू विच टिश्यू इज कल्परेट फॉर द पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन और सिम्टम इन योर पेशेंट look at this gentleman this gentleman elevates his arm in a very graceful manner matlab 
जब उनके बाएं उठती हैं तो काफी चीजें सुलझ जाती हैं आमतौर पे बड़ा पोएटिक सा जस्टिस दे देते हैं ये सभी को और ये अगर ऐसा ना हो इनमें या किसी में भी तो क्या क्या रीजन हो सकते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड द सोर्स ऑफ सिम्टम की वी शुड नो विच टिश्यू वी आर सपोज टू ट्रीट विच इज कल मे बी इट इज अ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू इंजरी मे बी द एगोनिस्ट आर वीक लाइक इफ आई कैन नॉट रेज माई आर्म मे बी माई एबडेक्टर्स आर वीक और मे बी माई एडेक्टर्स आर टाइट tight antagonist maybe it is a capsular pattern tightness maybe the synergists are not working now you all know that synergists are more important than movers and our aim decides our uh, actually our outcome or assessment decides it should be um, our treatment should be in perfectly alignment with our assessment like if it is soft tissue injury we are supposed to heal it first if it is weakness we are supposed to give strength first this is the way or maybe it is not a shoulder every time i say that maybe it it's not a shoulder it's not your domain maybe it's cervical compression or maybe something else which requires a neuro or orthopedics opinion as well so the our new srk is shoulder rom kinematics because biomechanics is everything biomechanics and kinesiology is the most i should say wonderful tool of physics we can see that when when the shoulder is at rest the biceps triceps along with the coracle humeral ligament pulls the uh, humeral head into the glenoid cavity all the time it is not like that the gravity is a good circus developer it is always there in the glenoid once one start to movement situation is reaction and action Raising your arm above head or above ninety degree, so you start your and first you have to use your glutes. You have to initiate your glutes and start thinking about my arm. At first, and see why it's so graceful because he uses his hips lateral leg extension. initiate then is final extension for a single rotation then retraction and then only it comes like the arm or uh, head we move and lot of biomechanics plays all the time counter counter act acts the delta they pull they are kind of humeral head depressor they pull the head throughout the movement to make it into the glenoid activity Well, the glenoid humeral rhythm plays a very important role. Cretaceous and cirrhus are activated, show their performance at very uh, accurate time, like um, every two degrees of scapula, one degree of scapula for every two degree of humerus. We all know that. Besides, lot of orthokinematics like your humeral head is supposed to go proudly when posteriorly while you play. i thinking about things so these skills of his this patient was suffering with adenitis because in his patient passive movement was restricted when the patient for passive movement was passive restriction सिम्टम्स Cannot change your treatment of the name, but you have to see your, the diagnosis which made a number of shoulder pain reasons like tendonitis, subacromial bursitis, tendonitis, slap tear, adhesive fasciitis. Maybe not a shoulder. Maybe traumatic, non-traumatic. You will have so many bulk of papers of. 
MRIs and X-rays, but biomechanics is the real winner, in my opinion. So, they are like, wants to uh, regain the movement while Nancy should look after the healing part. Because here yeah, it is a subtlety here. Yeah. So, aim is different, their exercises, their approach will be different. So, he is referring patient to the orthopedic for the investigation. Maybe the patient requires surgery, intratabarmic injection, or physiotherapy only. patient best recovery ho sakti hai wo specialist ki bhi madad leni padti hai leni chahiye aur ye sare cheeze hamara assessment hi decide karta hai so as i told you source of symptom उसी को ही तो हमें ट्रीट करना है जो कल्प्रेट सोर्स ऑफ सिम्टम था लाइक एडेसिव कैप्सुलाइटिस में टाइट कैप्सूल ऑफ कोर्स सोर्स ऑफ द सेम टाइम ये वीक था एगोनिस्ट में भी पेटोलाइट था इन्फ्लेमेशन थोड़ा था पोस्चर उनका पुअर था सिलेंडरी थी उनके पेशेंट भी सो सो सिम उसको अलाइन in the program he was going with ice therapy um again the ultrasonic while she was because she wants healing and he wants to see a little video i playing well on the internet i don't know so you can see like chandra uh, is busy in uh, giving the capsular exercises or capsular lengthening exercises using please stretching exercises while nancy is busy in her synergies so scapular disc may not have a patient healing process scapular dyskinesia is a real diagnosis in her patient which is ultimately ending up in impingement syndrome so you can see uh, the, the the treatment differences also in their respective patient because the diagnosis was different like she is um, you know trying to recruit or trigger some external rotation of humerus also so that when her patient elevates his arm above head the greater tubercal may not hit the acromion process it should externally rotate on the time so these are quite uh, you know minute assessment and the application of your physiotherapy so i think um, it will be a longer video uh, i will switch to the next slide in a in a gif i just want to show you one thing into the capsular stretching gliding she is giving her transfusion massage to promote healing on suppressed venous tendon where she is suspecting that you uh, guess sorry to interrupt you uh, is there any way you, your internet is very slow i think uh, your voice is very breaking so can we do anything can you change this place or okay. something kind of that it is very slow uh, now Internet. now i have just uh, put uh, my you know laptop a little bit uh, in front of me now yeah it is better yes yes 
Okay, now is it okay? Yeah, it is okay. Yes, yes, go ahead. Let us see. But your internet connection so, is a little slow. Okay. So if any uh, better place in your clinic uh, or wherever you are, if you hmm. just do something. Okay. 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 Let me, let me, because my, this hot spot is with me, but uh, it's minus one in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Okay, Dr. Dharam, please guide me. Now it is better. Yes, it, is better, now. it is better now. Yes. Okay, please so go ahead. These, these were the things which we have been doing for ages, but because uh, today we have come here to simplify everything and using Jenny's concept, which is really wonderful. And before touching that uh, you know, aspect of uh, our therapy, uh, I would like to quote Albert Einstein's um, statement that if the facts don't fit the theory, change the facts. So we should see whether these facts are really aligned with their theory. Uh, I should give you an example from this movie like Gora and Kala. I am sure youngsters haven't seen it. It is a 1972 blockbuster. Actually, I haven't seen it. I don't want to see it. I think nobody wants to see it now in Amazon or Netflix because it is a yesterday thing. Regardless, it was a blockbuster. I am sure nobody is using nowadays this phone. We died for this phone. And if we don't take it ourselves, so we want to take iPhone because it's 2020, it's not 80s or 70s. But when it comes to physiotherapy or clinical test, we are still following the 80s and 70s empty can test by Zobes, 95% of acromion you know, types by Nears, um, which was given in 86 and 77. So the thing is, the fact is, जब हम EMG में देखते हैं इसको empty can test को केवल supraspinatus engage नहीं होती minimum eight nine muscles हैं जो similar contraction देती हैं it is very difficult to say that you can isolatedly you know engage supraspinatus when you are giving that isometric empty can test or full can test so this is the latest research from 2009 Clathers by GSMS 2009 ki research hai. Now they have started following a different way, which is the Jeremy's way. Lot of repairs, lot of orthoplasty, ortho acromioplasty rather I should say, is not required while it has been happening for ages like leech therapy. In most of the professional baseball pitchers, 90% logo may joint may fuse on a shoulder ke bina kisi symptom ke. because I told you shoulder is a social tendon. Don't go, just go on x-ray and test that, okay, it is tagged like it rotator cuff gaya iska. Agar mali je injured hai bhi, to bhi. Injury non-traumatic honi chahiye lekin. Agar hum log normal logo mein bhi MRI or ultrasonic diagnostic, soft tissue ultrasonic, karayenge, 96% of logo mein 40 ke baad, aapko wo symptom dikh jayenge, jo aap patients mein dekhte hain, usko diagnose karne ke liye, it is a suppressed tendonitis. So it's quite difficult to say that um, what is right, what is wrong. Yeah, we have been doing since ages and it is working also. So Moreover, posture correction, we are so cranky that posture kharaab hai, aapka posture kharaab hai, aapka, you know, aapka protruded shoulder hai, that is why you cannot lift your arm and just give it like DJ uh, or retractors ko majboot ko lije, everything is okay, biomechanically it's true, but uh, I'm still to meet, I'm looking to meet a person jiska mene aastak posture hamesha kele thik kiya ho. एक बार स्केलेटल मैच्योरिटी आने के बाद पोस्चर ठीक करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है मोर ओवर क्या जिनका भी पोस्चर खराब है सोसाइटी में क्या सबके ही शोल्डर पेन आ रहे हैं आई डोंट थिंक सो इट्स ओके दैट यू आज योर पेशेंट टू यूज योर रिट्रैक्टर्स मोर बट डेलिब्रेटली सीधे बैठ जाना या पीछे रखना शोल्डर को इज गोइंग टू हेल्प 
आईसीएसएलई डॉट बिकॉज़ पोस्टरल मसल्स आर नॉट सपोज्ड टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट डेलिब्रेटली वो बहुत जल्दी टायर्ड हो जाती है और आदमी फिर ऐसे ही हो जाता है इलेक्ट्रोथेरेपी इट्स क्वाइट कंट्रोवर्शियल यू नो नाउ इट इज इट इज बीइंग सेड दैट इट इज प्लेसिबो ओनली एक्सेप्ट लेजर थेरेपी एंड शॉक वेव थेरेपी व्हिच हैव व्हाट सम एविडेंस ऑफ यू नो बेनिफिट्स इन पेशेंट्स रिकवरी प्रोसेस otherwise all the electrotherapy measures are you know yesterday thing moreover ironically so many therapies are there electrotherapies are there which may harm your patient in fact we started when we started practicing in mid 90s we used to use diathermy in shoulder cases in supraspinatus tendinitis i should admit but now nobody uses even not me because now research papers are there it's not a good gadget for especially for your inflammatory shoulder cases so things changing one more thing like capsular stretching exercises we say ki we can stretch the capsule with the band and everything actually capsule clino hemorrhal joint capsule requires only 683 kg per centimeter squares of force to generate stretching aur jo world ka sabse superman aadmi adi hall usne 500 kg uthaya hai recently wo world record hai so if we think that we can produce 683 kg per centimeter square in our patient so now i think it's good time to switch to some other field jahan hum zyada naam kama payenge aisa mujhe lagta hai so again facts are and researches are not favoring our so many things like capsular stretching exercises and all that even cord band pendular keval char logo mein karke dekha gaya tha 40s mein aur aaj bhi wo hamari favorite exercise bani hui hai agar hum research paper uthaye aaj main subah hi dekh raha tha to cord band pendular exercise glenohumeral pe to shayad 2 3 4 degree ka hi movement create kar pati hai aur scapular thoracic pe to kuch bhi nahi kar pati hai तो वो क्यों है अभी भी हमारे उसमें जस्ट थिंकिंग कि ये थोड़ा एक्रोमियल स्पेस बढ़ा दे रही है आई डोंट थिंक इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प इट हेल्प अस परमानेंटली इन एनी पेशेंट सो इट इज सो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एज आई टोल्ड यू सो मेनी मंकी बिजनेसेस आर देयर डायथर्मीज एंड शॉर्ट वेव डायथर्मीज एंड वेव एंड आई आर आई एफ टी लेजर एंड सीनियर लाइक अस हु मलिगन स्ट्रेचिंग now it is dry needling also so it is quite complicated what to use when to use and should we use it or not let's make it a little bit simpler so here comes the uh, jeremy's concept jeremy's louis concept after a lot of research maybe of um, 20 years research he made only 10 shoulder symptom modifier procedures which are really wonderful those are like this uh i don't know whether i'm allowed to speak lot on this or not i am a certified jeremy tutor but i think i can take this much liberty because the platform is from dr harpi dr dharam and dr shagun sir uh, who are always been there whenever i require them so i should uh, throw some light on these techniques uh, basically these techniques um, uh, let's see a video of these techniques first
So uh, these are the 10 shoulder symptom modification procedure or shoulder modifier uh, techniques, which Jeremy um, has taught. And after a lot of research, he came out with these techniques that when you, on the very first day, you are supposed to uh, know the patient's most provocative movement, like in the video, uh, the patient's most provocative, provocative movement was flexion. And you are supposed to apply these techniques on your patient and see whether her pain was less or almost gone. And believe me, you don't need to apply all the techniques on a single patient. One of the techniques is going to help her the most. Suppose I started with this finger or sternum technique and I asked my patient just to lift her arm, which was, which was previously painful. And she said, no, no changes. Then I will go to humeral head expression technique and then ask my patient any change. And if she says, yes, this is my technique. I need not to go through the, all the techniques on a single patient. Whenever or whichever techniques is uh, going to, is, is really helping her the most is the technique of choice for the particular patient. Now I can use, or I may be using a lot of maybes now because still nobody knows why these are helping a patient. Actually, previously what we have been doing, still we don't know why, why, why they were so effective or why still they are very effective. I'm still a big, big fan of Malaygan and Maitland. Uh, but the reality is, as I told you, कि बड़ा मुश्किल है कैप्सूल को स्ट्रेच कर पाना अगर हम फिजिक्स उठाके देखेंगे या फैक्ट उठाके देखेंगे। सिमिलरली मैं आपको अपना एक आप भी करके देखिएगा ऐसा मैं अपना आपको एक एक्सपीरियंस बताना चाहूँगा कि मैं न्यूरोसर्जरी में ओटी में गया जहाँ पे कि सर्वाइकल स्पाइन की सर्जरी � ओपन पेशेंट पे जो है C4 को थोड़ा सा मूव करने की कोशिश करी ये देखते हुए कि मैं क्या C4 को वाकई में पोस्टर एंटीरियर ग्लाइड कर सकता हूँ स्पाइनस प्रोसेस पे या फैसेट जॉइंट पे ध्यान रहे सॉफ्ट टिश्यू नहीं है उसके ऊपर ओटी के अंदर हूँ मैं पेशेंट के साथ रिजल्ट्स क्या आए मैं कितना हिला पाया C3 या C4 को बिना C4 और C2 को हिलाए या बिना C5 और C3 को हिलाए C4 को मैं कितना मूव कर पाया ये आप खुद देखिएगा एक बार क्या केवल ऐसा तो नहीं सिर्फ लार्डोसिसी और वापस नॉर्मल कर्वेचर पे ला पाया कि वाकई मैं इसोलेट करके इंडिविजुअल C4 को मैं ग्लाइड कर पाया आए मैं आप पे ये छोड़ता हूँ एक बार आप करके देखिएगा तो हमें शायद अभी पता नहीं कि जो हम करते आ रहे हैं वो वाकई में क्यों इतना फायदा कर रहा था similarly with these techniques maybe they are simply placebo maybe biomechanical component that is why it is helping in my patients or in Jeremy's patient maybe it is simple a distraction or a pain modulation that you are you know playing with the patient's brain maybe but Believe me, these techniques are really wonderful and it makes sense also. And finally, at a very safe entry point, you are supposed to give your patient a heavy, heavy slow resistance kind of, kind of uh, using the eccentric contraction in such a way that the weight should be enough that she cannot move it concentrically, but she can break it eccentrically in a very slow fashion. As I told you, Protector cuff is a social tendon. You have to treat shoulder as a whole and results will be there. After that, when pain is not there and your patient is able to perform heavy slow resistance exercise as your treatment regime, don't say you are okay. Now bring your patient into the functional activities and fitness thing. Like whatever they have been doing. Abhi, suppose um, if a basketball player so I would definitely ask her to play basketball again for the whole fitness. As everybody knows that now this is a, this is a game of kinetic chain. Every shoulder movement or every movement in the body is a game of kinetic chain. Uh, suppose I am a tennis player and I am going to serve um, you know, my, my, my ball with my tennis racket like this only. But when I use my legs, my trunk rotator and everything, which is classical service, because of this kinetic chain thing, we can achieve the best outcome from shoulder. 
and it should be used in our patients also. So we should bring our patient to some kind of functional activities and fitness according to her age, the culture, the background from uh, she comes or he comes using whole kinetic chain, including shoulder. So nowadays it is a common picture, is a common picture in clinics after using Jeremy techniques in a single session and it hardly takes five or eight minutes to know which is the best technique for her. And after the best technique, this is a real common, common picture in all Jeremy tutors clinic or all Jeremy followers that your patient goes with a smile every time. Because you have so many tools. Last but not the least, in my opinion, in my experience, I should you use Rudyard Kipling's statement to justify myself that words are, of course, the most powerful drug used by mankind. आप अपने पेशेंट से क्या बात करते हैं? आपकी वाड़ी में कितना इम्पैथी है? आपकी भाषा कितनी सरल है? आप पेशेंट में विश्वास जगा पाते हैं कि नहीं पाते हैं? ये कोई कोर्स, कोई वर्कशॉप, कोई कॉलेज नहीं तय कर पाएगा। ये आप ही को ही हासिल करना है। बिलीव मी, ये सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट ड्रग है पूरे मैनकाइंड के लिए, न सिर्फ फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट द्वारा अपने पेशेंट को, बल्कि सभी मेडिकल पर्सन्स के लिए। So with this note, I would like to wind up that be a better human being, practice to be a better human being in order to be a better physiotherapist. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Yogesh, uh, sir, for a wonderful uh, uh, concept sharing with us and uh, uh, very few questions. Uh, I think I think there is no question you explained so very well uh, that uh, the people have understood. And uh, in future, definitely, uh, we would like to have you on this platform to share many, many, many more uh, uh, knowledgeable uh, lecture here. Uh, there was one question that uh, Sir, is uh, Jeremy is a combination of isometric contraction and isotonic contractions, or iso isotonic movements? Uh, Jeremy himself says that uh, these are the movements uh, which are actually he uses a lot of maybes because it is still in research. Uh, but uh, definitely, his results are very good. In your question, mein jaise isotonic and isometric ki jo techniques are only two techniques, Jeremy. Sometimes, Dharam Ji, I think that their finger stress technique or their ball squeeze technique, which I have shown in the video. Sometimes, I think that the front arm line is released from the front arm line. Their finger on the sternum technique, I think that it is biomechanical, scapulothoracic, which we recruit and retract, it is used to use the technique. Sometimes, their external rotation and internal rotation technique, I think that the patient was not doing external rotation, not timely trigger, so maybe the supraspenter was more loading and reduced loading. So there's still a lot of work to do, a lot of research to do, but yes, this is true that it is really helping. It is really bringing wonders to our clinic. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dr. Harpeet is with us. Uh, Dr. Harpeet, if you want to add anything or ask anything from Yogesh, sir. Yeah. Good evening, Dr. Yogesh. Very um, good evening, Harpeet, it sir. Was, it was a wonderful uh, talk on the Jeremy concept of shoulder rehabilitation. And uh, a lot of participants did appreciate the concept and what they were using from 1970s and 80s. And maybe uh, we even don't know why was it working uh, as we understand that uh, explanations are not so much. Uh, just one thing that people wanted to know is that if we take one message from today as a Jeremy concept, uh, like tomorrow, what can they start in their clinics? Okay. Uh, in my opinion, uh... Every physiotherapist, budding physio, especially budding physiotherapist, should not follow a set pattern. Their treatment should be aligned and it should be justified their assessment. This is the simple thing. Actually, facts, theories, such galat, uh, 
मैं मैं लिबर्टी ले सकता हूँ लखनऊ का आदमी हूँ अपनी बात को इस तरह से कहने के लिए कि सत्य न जीत में न हार में न सही में न गलत में सतत संघर्ष करने में ही सत्य तो मैं अपने बर्डिंग फिजो थेरेपिस्ट और सभी को कहूंगा कि बस सत्य की राह पे पकड़ते रहिए फैक्ट्स देखिए रिसर्च पेपर देखिए क्या आपके पेशेंट में बेस्ट काम कर रहा है आपका असेसमेंट आपका ट्रीटमेंट ये वाकई में एक अलाइनमेंट में है कि सिर्फ आप सीनियर या किसी टेक्निक को इम्प्लीमेंट करना चाहते तो सिर्फ आपने कर दिया शुड नॉट बी लाइक दिस okay thank you dr yogesh uh, just one more thing like uh, so there was a question of what, is the journey concept a fascia concept or a muscle concept or a joint or bone or like manipulation concept so what is jeremy's concept focusing on like the structure uh, that if they want to know like okay uh that's very interesting actually dr dharam uh, has asked that whether it is a isometric or isotonic uh, technique because he he very well appreciated that some of the techniques were using isotonic and isometric things and i appreciate his observation always appreciating but uh, even jeremy says a three word word uh, sentence which is really wonderful i don't know I don't know. Okay. <laughs> It's we because see, जो अभी तक करते आ रहे थे उसमें भी actual में term यही I don't know. Right, right. Okay. So it is still uh, going on, but yes, it is a uh, it is not only biomechanical, rather it is a psychosocial module in which right. you are supposed to play with the brain of the patient and uh, with mechanics also, as I said, biomechanical psychosocial module. so so many things are working and he, and he is saying that uh, it's now it's now now the ball is on our court to see why it is happening okay okay so as you say that the ball is in our court uh, to decide is it sita or geeta gora or kala satcha <laughs> or jhootha uh, i think you have given us a lot of terminology today and i think that would stay uh, jeremy's concept stays with us or no but i i am sure that sita and geeta gora and kala and sharukh khan for shoulder will always be remembered as what dr yogesh taught us uh, thank you dr yogesh for being with us and we appreciate uh, the knowledge you shared with the participants thank you thank you dr yogesh for um, having we we are glad to have you on this platform and uh, uh, rehabilitation sciences group always tries to bring uh, uh, many of international national uh, faculty on this platform to share their knowledge and this was the one example that you introduced us to a new concept and definitely uh, we will uh, be working with that with this note thank you so much thank you all participants joining us and uh, i would request everyone to please do subscribe this channel so that you keep getting uh, update when the next lecture is coming and now today after this uh, lecture there is another lecture uh, lined up with an international faculty so stay with us in that lecture too thank you so much thank you